What, so what did they have you do today on the show? Oh, it's just, it's very cool. You know, they, they open the show with talking about current events, so we get to put in our opinions about what's going on in the news. Uh, I get to play my package that I shot uh, a few weeks back on Hot Wieners, so what's more Rhode Island than Hot Wieners, so we got to chat about that and our fondness for the Hot Wiener. Um, and then uh, they were kind enough to get a cake for me. It was my birthday, so I was hosting on my birthday, which was really, really a cool gift to have, I think it was like one of the best birthday presents I could get was to be hosting the Roadshow. Do you have a cake waiting for you at home? Oh, uh, you know, I don't know about that, but I think there are definitely dinner plans because, you know, I'm all about eating mm. and uh, when I'm not cooking, actually. I want someone else to cook for me, so that's the treat. So I think we're going to dinner. Is that your favorite thing about Rhode Island, the food? Oh, you know, I have to say it is the favorite thing. We just have such great restaurants, such great people. I mean, the people truly are. are they're very... They're very unique people, and you go anywhere else and you, you sort of miss the quirkiness of Rhode Islanders, and, you know, I'm right in there with them. I mean, we all just enjoy uh, this small little state and all the big things that we can get here. Uh, so today you had a very risque buzz. Tell me about it. Ooh, that was kind of interesting. You know, it was about whether we should legalize marijuana, um, and that's very controversial. And being the Pollyanna that I am and being so anti-drug, you know, I couldn't wait to jump out and say, oh, I think it's a terrible idea. It probably needs uh, maybe a little more further investigation, but, you know, my gut tells me not a good idea, and uh, so I was very anxious to share that, but whether that was popular or not, apparently it was not because uh, the poll that came back showed that over 50% of Rhode Islanders would like to legalize marijuana and tax it and make some moolah for the state, so what do I know? How is it like working with uh, Vince and Lily on the set for the buzz and other things? You know what, they are so professional and it's just it takes a lot of pressure off when you know that there are two amazing professional people sitting to your immediate left and I just you know I try to take some solace in knowing that they're there to catch me when I fall um, but they're so kind they're so polished and um, they're just good at what they do and it was really a pleasure to be able to work with such um, really talented people. What do you make in the kitchen today? In the kitchen, well, who better to be with than Josito and John Granada, right? My paisans, as I like to say. Uh, so I was excited that it was going to be something Italian, but kind of threw me a curveball. Thanksgiving is on the way, so it was very appropriate that we make, you know, great stuffings. So I was thrilled to learn a new recipe so I can ditch the old stuffing that I was about to make for Thanksgiving and put this one in. So delicious pumpkin stuffing and then a great Portuguese sweetbread stuffing. So it doesn't get better than that. What was the toughest part of the day? I think the toughest part for me was, number one, reading the teleprompter when I did have to read it. That was what concerned me, where to look, could I read it without my glasses, because I generally need my glasses, but uh, somehow the print was big enough, I got through it, but I think just being comfortable with reading the teleprompter really was what frightened me. And, you know, you get through it, you see how it's going, and you, you get better as it goes through the show, although at the end of the show, when I was supposed to say goodbye... I thought I was done, and I'm just sleeping, and I think uh, you, Sean, actually went, Naomi, <laughs> speak up, and uh, so I kind of flubbed the end, but you know what, it's, t it's live television, I guess something's got to gotta give, right? Yeah, it happens. It happens. All right, uh, well, Matthew's yet to do it, you have any advice for him? You know, I, I think he's going to be great, number one, because he is an actor by trade, he loves the camera, he's so witty. And I think uh, I can't tell him anything else but be himself because people are going to love him because he's just he's just funny. And I think he's going to be great. I don't think he even needs any advice. Really? I don't even want to give him any because I don't want to mess it. him up. Yeah, yeah, it'll ruin him. He's just, he's perfect. So I think, we're, I think he's going to do a great job. Any advice to other people that would like to do this maybe next year? Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, I would like to speak to the women out there who are older and might have thought, you know, what, what am I going to be able to offer to that show? Or why would I try to do this? It seems like it attracts maybe some younger candidates. I want to say, do what you got to do. Feel confident in yourself. It's never too late to try something new. For me, this is all new. Yes, I did radio, but I've never done television. Did I think that maybe it was uh, a long shot? Probably. But, you know, you try, to, you try to just take some risks in life. And I say just be yourself. But go for it. Don't rule out anything in life and just, just go for it.